Hello everyone, I'm Gaur, I'm a freelance colorist and digital developer and I have gotten the question many times of how do I include your DCTLs in a lot? This question comes up because DCTLs can reference pixel data, they can reference the location of a pixel like Windows for example, as in a secondary tool and well lots cannot, lots only see the input RGB value and give an output RGB value. They don't know where a pixel resides and as such Resolve just decides to ignore all DCTLs when creating a LUT. I can demonstrate this by, as you can see, I have manual color management with these two nodes and my look in the middle. So I disabled these two, used this method to generate a LUT and now if I disable the look in the middle and apply this LUT, well, all I get is a slight green hue shift, which, well, is weird considering that, in theory at least, Damage Resolve did not save anything. But looks like the DCTLs got through in the way of uh, a small green hue shift. Very weird. Well, fortunately, I have found a way around this. So first off, this is my look. It uses four of my DCTLs. The first step would be to save it in the gallery as a still. Delete this one, right click, grab still. There you go. Now you have all these nodes inside a still. The next step is to go over to the edit page and create a new timeline. Let's call it LUT creation. And we don't want to use project settings, we want to use a custom resolution. That being dependent on the LUT cube size, either 33 by 33 or 65 by 65. In this case, I'll do a 65 point cube because I want it to be as high quality as possible because I'll use it in grading later on. And the height should be either 33 or 65 and create. And if you look at this, uh, well, maybe you can't tell, but I can. It is not of the resolution I set it at. The height has been set to 256. This is because the minimum height of a resolve timeline is 256 pixels. But fear not, we will deal with this later. Now that you have a timeline with the resolution of a LUT cube, or well, as near as we could get it to, let's bring in an adjustment clip. You can find this under the effects and effects. Yeah, both both are effects, that's not confusing at all. Bring in an adjustment clip and head over to the color page. Now we want to get the default cube itself, which is also called the identity cube, and thus the only logical DCTL we would use for this is my, uh, where is it, KH Identity Cube Generator. And as you can see, it also throws in a ramp for a good measure, but we won't need that. And we will set the resolution or the cube size to 65. There we go, we have the default cube and some black space. If we were to generate a lot from this, it would do nothing because this is the default state of the image. But now we can head over to the gallery, right click and append node graph. This now modifies the default cube with our look and wealthy color management, which I don't want to include. So I'll disable that because I'll do color management myself later on and maybe the project itself will have different cameras. So this would get in the way. But if you're making a show lot, you can keep them in. So now I have applied my custom look to the cube, which is here. Next step would be to analyze it inside of Fusion. But because in the image pipeline of DaVinci Resolve, Fusion precedes the color page, we will have to make this a compound clip first. So let's call it LUT cube. There we go. And now we can head over to Fusion. To analyze the LUT cube and create the LUT from it, we'll use the LUT cube analyzer. But it turns red because 
the resolution isn't any of the possible lot cube sizes. For this, we can use the crop tool and just set the height to 65 or 33 if you're doing that size of a cube. Now the lot cube analyzer has turned white, it's all happy, and we can choose the format of the cube and name it. Let's call it DCTL lot. And finally, don't forget to hit write file. And ta-da! You have a lot! Congratulations! Well, let's test it out first. Let's head over to our look creation timeline and disable the look itself and get the, let's refresh the lots and get our do, 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 DCTL lot and enable node. Well, it looks similar. Is it exactly the same? Well, I'll enable the wipe and if you look at the scopes and on screen, there is literally no difference. Everything came through. And if I disable it just to make a point, the wipe is working. Well, there you go. That's how to make a lot with DCTLs, with OFX, whatever way of manipulating the image, as long as lots theoretically could support it in terms of not having masking or windows or whatnot. If you have any questions, you can leave them down below. And I'll also put a link to the Identity Cube Generator DCTL, which you can use the discount code YouTube for 50% off. Well, I guess that's it. So, see you next time.